the 16th of August this year, the US Senate confirmed that the media is not the enemy of the people. It's a pretty sad state of affairs when the US government has to say that. And that comes after the president, President Trump, has been making various attacks on the media. And this is all part of an attempt to undermine public trust in the media. And this is really damaging for the way that journalists are perceived, not only in the US, but around the world where we are seeing attacks on journalists, physical attacks and also attacks in the media on both their reputations and them personally. And the way that this is working in countries like the Philippines is that um, journalists like Marie Ressa of Rappler is getting numerous attacks. Rappler is being banned from attending press conferences in the Philippines. And in the same way that Donald Trump is saying the media is the enemy of the people, the authorities in the Philippines are also using the same kind of words to say, yes, Rappler is also the enemy of the people and undermining public confidence in stories that Rappler is producing. So the importance of this is not just for the US, it's actually for the rest of the world, that we have a trustworthy media, that the public believe in what they have to say and that governments don't attack what the media represents. Thank you.